Okay guys, so we're back with another video. Today we're gonna be painting another 10 inch Jake from Drifter Tackle. Um, I'm gonna show you guys a little trick at the end of this, so make sure you stick around. It could possibly even catch you more fish, so you're gonna wanna see through to the end. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. We'll paint this up and then I'll show you my trick at the end. All right, so we're gonna do an opaque white base coat. To start off. Okay, so now that I have the white base coat done, I'm gonna go ahead and go over it with a fluorescent red, just to make it really pop for the base coat, and then I'm gonna do some scales over top of that. So let's get right to that. Actually, I take that back. I'm not gonna do a fluorescent red underneath. I'm gonna do a transparent red underneath. A bright red, and then I'll detail it with the fluorescent red. So let's do the transparent red right now. So that's gonna be the undertone for the scales and then we're gonna heat set that and we're gonna put the netting on for the scales. Okay, so now we're gonna go over the whole bait again with white uh, to set another base. And then we're gonna make it a silvery color. So let's do that. Okay, now we're gonna heat set that white. All right, so now we're gonna go over it with some pearlized silver. Okay, so we got our brush clean and I'm gonna go over this belly with some opaque white and then I'll touch it up with some pearl white afterwards. So the white on the belly's done and now we're gonna go over it with some pearlized white. Okay, so now we got some fluorescent red. I'm gonna do a little bit underneath the lip here and just behind the lip, just to accent the belly a little bit. Actually, I lied. I'm going to do just behind the lip because I'm going to paint the whole head a darker color. Okay, so we got that done. Uh, it's a fluorescent red color. And then we're going to wash our brush out and we're going to come along the back in the head with a darker color. 
So before I actually do the back, I'm gonna do the gills. I'm gonna put some red underneath the gills, uh, make them look a little more realistic and pop. So let's do that right now. I have this stencil for it. We're just gonna put it on there and we're gonna spray the gills and then clean our brush and we'll come over with the darker color. Yeah, so I used Detail Black Magenta on the gills and the same fluorescent red that I used under the bill. Um, and then while I was at it, I just darkened in the eyes and around the head with Detail Black Magenta. And I'm going to go over it a little bit with some gray on the outside edge here, just to blend those gills in a little bit and take up some of the red, the red underneath the coat. And then I'll finish it off by going up and down the back with some uh, opaque black and then yeah that'll be it so I got this medium gray that I'm gonna go over it with just a little bit and lower that down just a little bit pressure Okay, and then we're just gonna go over the back, kinda at an angle here to blend it together. Okay, so there's the gray. And then we're gonna come over the back with the, uh, do I wanna do opaque black? Yeah, we're gonna come over the back with an opaque black. I need this one. Okay, so now we got some opaque, opaque black loaded into the chamber and we're just gonna go down the back here. <sighs> okay, so that'll just about do it. And then I'm gonna put my name on the bottom of this. Put some lure eyes on it, and I'll get back to you when you guys want to see the trick that could just catch you extra fish. Okay, so we got our eyes picked out here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and super glue these on. And then we'll get to writing our name on the bottom. So I got the red eyes on there, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put my name on the bottom of the bait right here in black. Okay, so I put my name on there. So my trick for this lure that we painted is I'm gonna use this amazing clear cast that I have for the, the clear coat. But when I do it, I'm gonna put a little bit of this red glitter in it to just kind of give this a little bit of a sparkle. And that's the secret that can help you guys catch a little, few, a few more fish here and there. Uh, I'm not gonna guarantee anything, but that little bit of sparkle could catch the eye of a nice muskie and hook on. So I'll get this done up and then I'll show you guys afterwards what, it'll find, what the finished product looks like. All right guys, this is the 10 inch 
uh, Jake that we painted up here. Uh, and this has two layers of epoxy clear coat on it. I put some 5 out must add hooks on it with some size five split rings. Um, and I think it turned out pretty good. I think the, uh, the sparkle really shines through with the epoxy. You can see it in the light a little bit. Um, yeah, I think it turned out really good. But yeah, if you guys liked the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And until next time guys, thanks for watching.